Do you guys know where Julie is? No. I hope she's okay. She hardly ever misses a day of school. Yeah, I know. And now that we're in junior high, we really gotta, you know, look out for our friends. Because before you know it, we'll be graduating high school. Hey, don't think that far ahead. Oh, here she comes. Hey, Julie. Hey, Julie. Hi. How come you're so late? Where were you? None of your business. What's wrong with you? You know what, Whitney? Now wouldn't it be the time to kid around, okay? I just want you guys to leave me alone. What did we do? Did I say you did anything? Well, you must have done something if you're mad at us. I mean, what did we do? You know what? Just forget about it. What is What is wrong with her? McKenna, you're her best friend. Maybe you should talk to her. Maybe I will. I'm going to help her. I'm really going to help her. I'll let her, I'll let her be alone today, and tomorrow I'll talk to her. Why can't you just call her tonight? First of all, since we've gotten junior high, we've gotten mountains of homework. You know that. Oh, yeah, I forgot. But luckily, I didn't. I don't want to flunk out of middle school. It takes a lot. What? Well, anyway, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm going to find out what's wrong. Hi. Good morning, McKenna. Good morning, Mrs. Arbery. Um, Is Julie home? Yeah, sure. Come on in. I'll get her for you. Thanks. Julie, you have a visitor. McKenna? Hey, Julie. What are you doing here? Um, I just wanted to talk to you. Okay, I'll give you two your privacy. Okay, you got here. What do you want to talk to me about? I want to know why you were so mean yesterday. I want to know what's going on with you. Nothing is going on. It is. There is something going on because you're not usually like this. Please, tell me what's wrong. Nothing. You're lying. You call me a liar? Julie, just tell me what's bothering you. You really want to know? Yeah, why else would I be here? You could trust me. Okay. Well, I haven't been sleeping very well. Really? Yeah. Are you having trouble falling asleep? No, I fall asleep just fine. But lately I've been having these horrible nightmares. Nightmares? Yeah. And, well, I was just so embarrassed to tell you. I mean, you're so used to seeing me calm and put together. But that doesn't mean that you can't come to us if we, if you need us. There's nothing you can do, McKenna. I've tried everything. The nightmares just will not go away, and it's really frustrating me. I can imagine. 
No, McKenna, you really don't. You can't, because, I mean, every time I close my eyes, I have a nightmare. I didn't mean to take it out of you guys. I was just so cranky, and I wanted to tell you. I was just too embarrassed. There's no reason to feel embarrassed, Julie. I'm sure other people have nightmares, too. Not like mine. Well, what are your nightmares about? Well, most of the time, in most of them, I'm, in most of them, I'm, okay, what? Nothing. No, 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 we got this far, you're going to tell me. Okay, okay. In, in most of them, I am walking in the woods. And this lady comes up in front of me. I felt no connection to the lady. But she looked familiar. But I couldn't quite put my finger on what she was. Okay, well then what happened? I'm standing there and... She has a bottle of bleach. And she tries to shove it down my throat. And when I try to protest, like clamp my mouth shut... She takes out a knife and stabs you. It's so embarrassing. But that's not the worst part. What's the worst part? The nightmares are so real. Like, I have a feeling my mom's hiding something. Like what? I don't know. Just something. Well, did you tell your mom about the nightmares? She wouldn't understand. But we do. And your mom, isn't she a therapist? I mean, why don't you talk to her about it? I don't know, I guess. What would happen? Were you afraid that she'd make you pay for a session? It's not funny, McKenna. I don't know what to do. But we're here for you, Jewel. Tell you what, how about, since today's Friday, how about after school, all five of us could have sleepover. Really? Yeah. But I'm embarrassed. What if I have a nightmare then? Wake up screaming. We'll be, well, your friends, Shuli. You don't have to be scared. Please? I think it would really help. Okay. Now you coming to school today? Yeah, I'm coming. Okay, come on. We better go. We're going to be late. Okay. Good idea, you guys. It was a great idea to have a sleepover. Yeah. It is great. Yeah, I like it, too. So, um, what do you guys want to do? I don't know. I am kind of tired. Oh, come on. It's only 10.30. We usually stay up until midnight. I know, but we should probably go to sleep anyway. Okay, we'll go to sleep. Okay, good idea. Oh, good idea. Good idea. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. An hour later. Julie? Julie, wake up! <gasps> Are you okay? Where am I? You were all at McKenna's house. What's wrong? I had a horrible nightmare. Mm. What's going on? Yeah, who's yelling? Julie just had a nightmare. Aw, oh, Jewel. Are you okay? 
I will be. I think you should show. I think you should explain your nightmare. Okay. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll explain it. You see, I have this. I had a nightmare that I was, you know, walking in the woods and this lady's trying to kill me. I think you've been watching too many horror movies. It's not funny, Emily. They scare me. My nightmares scare me so bad. Well, I can understand that, but there's no reason to think that someone's going to come get you. It's, they're just stupid movies. Yeah, what are you, for? I knew you would make fun of me if I told you guys about the nightmares. No, Julie, we're not making fun of you. We're joking with you. Well, it's not funny. You guys are supposed to be my friends, and then you in then you insult me? Julie, calm down. No, I'm not calming down. I'm getting my things, and I'm going home. But Julie, no, don't try to talk me out of it. I'm leaving. It's 3 in the morning. It's 11. Oh, yeah. I'm leaving. Okay? And don't follow me. Good going, Whitney. Yeah, nice going. Okay, okay, I'll talk to her. I'll talk to her tomorrow. You better, because now she eats all of us. Okay, I will. I'll talk to her tomorrow. Promise. Okay, fine. Come on in, Whitney. Thanks, Mrs. Albright. I'll send Julia up, but I don't think she wants to talk to you right now. Did she tell you what happened? Yes. But it was big of you to come try to patch things up with her. Yeah, I hope so. Okay, I'll go get Julie. Julie, I'm not talking to her. Honey, maybe she's sorry. Please, just talk to her. Fine, I'll talk to her, but I'm not going to like it. Send in my veil. Okay. Uh, Julie? What do you want? Are you going to laugh at me some more? Look, I'm really sorry that I was joking around about your nightmares. I didn't mean to hurt you. Yeah, well, you did hurt me. I know. Now. I just... I was just trying to cheer you up. But you gotta watch what you say to me. You're right, I do. Good. Now we understand each other. Look, Joy. I really am sorry. I really didn't mean... I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't do it on purpose. Don't you believe that? Well, maybe I was being a little oversensitive. I told, I did tell my mom about the nightmares, and she's going to take me to a therapist so we could talk about them. Really? Yeah. I don't think my mom's hiding something anymore. But these nightmares just won't go away. Yeah, I shouldn't have laughed at you. I didn't mean to. I really didn't mean to hurt you. Well, you did hurt me, but like I said, it was big of you to... It's very mature and responsible of you to come see me and try to patch things up. That's what your mom said to me. Yeah, no. She's a smart woman. Yeah, I guess she is. So, do you forgive me? I forgive you. Just don't do it again. Thanks, Julie. Okay. Well, look, well, all of us are meeting together for pizza. Do you want to come? I'd love to. Great. Come on. Okay. <laughs>